ni anga ya furaha densi na shangwe sauti za tumaini na bidii ya kuishi licha ya jinamizi la ugonjwa wa saratani wanawake hawa ambao kwa kawaida huwa zaidi ya nne ni washirika wa chama cha Symbol of Hope Warriors Kariobangi North lengo kuu ni kuwaleta pamoja wanawake wanaoishi na ugonjwa huu wa saratani asante sana sele kwa majina naitwa Millicent Kagonga niko na miaka 34 ninapigana na saratani ya mlango uzazi mimi ni single mother watoto wanne wawili wale ambao nimeza na hawa wawili wenye ninalea alafu mimi ni ambasada wa HPV vaccine na vile vile pia mimi ni mwanzilishi wa kikundi ambacho kinaitwa Symbol of Oporias ambacho tunaunganika pamoja kama wagonjwa wanaopigana uh, saratani tofauti tofauti tunakaa pamoja tunaongea tukishare tukijitia moyo katika safari ya kupigana na saratani ni dalili zipi zilizomfanya Millsent atembelee kituo cha afya Uh, nikiwa na miaka minne nilipata mtoto wangu wa kwanza na nikiwa na miaka ishirini nikapata mtoto wangu wa tatu na katika hiyo wakati mtoto wangu wa tatu akaaga wa pili akaaga na miaka minne na pia nikaanza kuona unyevu unyevu usio kwa kawaida na nilikuwa nimeolewa nilikuwa kwa ndoa tulikuwa tunaishi kuvumiliana lakini kupitia hiyo kutoa hiyo unyevu unyevu usio kwa kawaida ili nigarimu ndoa yangu kwa hivyo tukaachana hadi siku moja nikaona mwanadada kiongea kwa, kwa televisheni kuhusu dalili za saratani ya mlango wa uzazi na hapo ndio nilijua kwamba mambo hayako vizuri sana ilikuwa 2015 nikachukua hatua ya kwenda hospitalini ndiposa hospitali ya kwanza ikaniambia kwamba niko mdogo sana siwezi nikapatikana na saratani ya mlango uzazi ndiposa nikaenda kwa hospitali nyingine katika mtaa wa Kimabanda wa Korogosho nikasisitiza wakanifanyia kishingo upande lakini wakati nilienda katika hicho chumba cha kuangaliwa wakati walikuwa wanajaribu kuanza kufanya uchunguzi Aa, nilivuja damu nyingi sana na ndiposa nikaambiwa pole Millicent uko na saratani ya mlango uzazi stage 4 Maisha yalibadilika pindi tu taarifa hii ilipoletwa mshtuko mkubwa na mabadiliko ya kimaisha si tu kwa Millsent bali kwa wengine kama Roda Nduku Nilipatikana na saratani ya matiti upande wa kulia na ilinipa stingi masana wakati nilipata hii habari kwanza nilijiuliza nitatibiwa namna gani kwa ajili ya finance ilikuwa vigumu kwa sana kwangu kui kuimeza kimawazo juu mimi nilikuwa ninaishi nikijua kwamba saratani na hizi magonjwa zingine kubwa ni za wale matajiri si watu maskini kama mimi kwa hivyo uh, nilitaka kujiua lakini nikakumbuka kwamba niko na watoto na nikasema kwamba sitaki kuacha kiumbe chochote duniani uh, kikiangaika kwa hivyo ni vizuema niende nyumbani nikaweza kuwaua watoto ndio pia mimi nijiue lakini wakati nilifika kule nyumbani nikapatana na Gaina Koloji mwenye aliniongelesha na akanitia moyo na akaweza kuniambia kwamba ataweza kunifanyia utafiti ambao ni muhimu sana kwa mgonjwa wa saratani ambaye inaitwa biopsy Dorin hana ugonjwa wa saratani lakini alimshughulikia mmewe aliyekuwa na saratani ya kichwa hadi alipoaga kwa majina naitwa Dorin Auguro Tieno nimepatikana kwa mradi wa Symbols of Hope juu ya bwanangu bila lugwa huo ugonjwa wa saratani two years and a half tukingangana tu ilianza kama kichwa kumuuma anaweza pain killer lakini kuguki mpaka ikafika mahali akaniambia asipomeza pain killer akienda kazi hawezi fanya kazi hata hivyo safari hii ya kupambana na saratani haijakuwa rahisi kulikuwa na changamoto hata kutoka Kariobangi mpaka kwenda Kenyatta wakati mwingine nilikuwa nilikuwa inanibidi nitembe na nilikuwa nalala katika corridors za pale Kenyatta na familia nayo ilikuwa inajaribu kujitenga kwa sababu wengi wao walikuwa nafikiria ni uchawi wengine wanasema kwamba ni kiboko kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu wengine wananiambia niende niombe mtu msama mwenye nili, nilimkosea ilifika kwa kiwango hadi kuna mahali nilikuwa nina, ninaenda kwa budu na wenzangu niliweza kufukuzwa kwa sababu aliona nilaana kando na wana symbol of hope kukutana wanajihusisha na ushanaji wa mikeka kama njia moja ya kujituliza mawazo na kuteka uchumi na tulianza kushona mikeka na tulishona tu kama 
kama therapy kwa sababu wengi tulikuwa na misongo za mawazo but tukafika mali tukasema kwamba hii wacha tuichukulie kama kazi yetu wakati unanunua hiyo mkeka unatusaidia kulipa NHIF unasaidia wale watoto ambao wako orphans at least kulipiwa school fees tunatafuta donors wenye wanaweza tubaia uzi ama extraplet alafu tunashona carpet tukishashona kwa yote ambaye anaweza kulipia a patient NHIF the full year Uh, tunakupatia hii kama gift. Ukinole wagonjwa ambao wako na wakipatikana na breast cancer wanafanywa wanafanywa operation wanatoa matiti. So wakati umetoa matiti uh, kuna hii hii ni beigali sana. Kwa hivyo ni ngumu sana mgonjwa kupata. Kwa hivyo uh, tunashona hizi. Tunazishona na uzi tunawapatia. But hii uzi ni tofauti sana na hii uzi. Uh, hii uzi inatoka 120 to 150 but he inatoka 1000 uzi moja Scholar Hope Foundation ni shirika linalowapa matumaini kwa ushirikiano na Symbol of Hope Warriors Scholar Hope hutoa mavazi chakula na mengineyo My name is Dr. Skora K I'm a gospel singer I'm born again I love the Lord as my personal savior and I'm the founder of Scora Hope Foundation taking care of the widow, the orphan, the vulnerable in the society, it is the true religion. And so that is the work, basically the work of Skora Hope. Today I would say we work with Symbol of Hope. I met this group in the year 2018. They had come for a meeting. They were not even 10 by then. So I talked to them, I encouraged them, and I promised them to work with them. And apparently, that time I had my sister, who is our last born sister, was also suffering from breast cancer because I stayed with my sister for many years when she was battling cancer and I know the pain of staying with someone with cancer. Anytime they have a need, the Arinda is called Mirisend. She would always call, reach out to me. She would tell me, we are going to Kenyatta to make us a fair, to nataka miambili. That is the kind of help we give. Because for me, I say, it is not how much you give. It is the willingness of the heart. Sisters, we reach out to them, we donate food, we donate clothes, and any kind of help that God gives us, we always share. Because as I said, that is the true religion. Please come out, partner with us as Kora Hope Foundation. Give in whatever kind you can be able to give. Give in terms of cash, in, term of, in terms of uh, um, food stuff, in terms of whatever you have even giving yourself tunashikana na wengine kama leo leo hii umeona tumepata chakula kutoka Scholar Hope Foundation tunaitisha watu wenye wanaweza tupatia chakula tukule pamoja tulianza tukiwa wanne katika chumba changu uh, tukaanza tukafika kumi, tukafika ishirini, saa hizi tuko more than 400 i can say it is one of the group that when i visit it gives me a lot of satisfaction I look at them shining they are all sick they come together and they are celebrating and they are singing you cannot even know because looking at them you cannot know whether they are sick but they celebrate and for many years I have worked with these people when we lose some along the way we cry we mourn but we still pick ourselves up and we walk again and by the grace of God we have walked and we are fighting the journey I always like telling them one day kanza will give up and die wanawake hawa shupavu walikuwa na mwito kwa serikali na jamii kwa ujumla kwa kwa serikali yetu tembeeni na survivors hiyo tutaongea wengi wetu tulikuwa tunafanya kazi ya kufua lakini saa hizi hatuna kazi mkitupatia kazi ya kuongelesha wagonjwa wakati wako diagnosed itakuwa vizuri kwa sababu tutakuwa tuna add value kwa survivors na pia tunaambia watu cancer is not a death sentence i'm urging to every well wisher out there if you can be able to reach out just get to me and tell us as Kora Hope Foundation niko na 1500 niko na 1000 it will go in the right manner kwako wewe ambao umepatikana saa hizi uko na saratani haijalishi ni stage gani kwa sababu wakati unaambiwa uko na saratani swali ndani mwako unajiambia unataka kujua ni stage gani haijalishi ninapigana na saratani stage ya mwisho ukiniona hivi niko na my down moments ayu terasi yangu niko nayo singeweza kufanyiwa operation kwa sababu ilikuwa wali, daktari alidhani ali, ali ni kama saratani ilikuwa imeguza vitu zingine kule ndani lakini niko ninatembea 
jipanguze ukijisikia kulia lia panguza machozi endelea na safari kama uko karibu within Nairobi tutafute kama symbol of oporias tutaongea zaidi tukiendelea kutembea na wewe wakati unapigana na saratani uh, tuko Kariobangi North na mara mingi tunakuanga Kariobangi PG Church na pia unaweza tutafuta Facebook symbol of oporias tuko hadi na website www.sohw.org Mwanamke ni jeshi kubwa. Na kila mwanamke ni familia. Katika safari zetu za kuwatambua wanawake walio sheheni katika mambo tofauti tofauti. Safari yetu imetufikisha Kariobangi kushirikiana na wanawake ambao licha ya changamoto zao hawajakata tamaa. Licha ya kuwa wao wana ugonjwa wa saratani tofauti tofauti hawajakata tamaa. Miongoni mwa yale wanayoyafanya ni mikeka hii ambayo tunatengeneza miongoni mwa yale wanayoyafanya ni kutiana moyo na kushughulikia wenzao katika jamii ambao wamekutwa na janga hili nikiripotia mwangaza jina langu naitwa Celestine Waka the Favored